we didn't have any of the big pigs come up this morning. Ellie and her babies aren't up here for feeding, and they always meet us. And I was filling the water trough, expecting them to come any moment. And nobody showed up. So, something that y'all may not know was that Penelope was expecting. I guess we need to go look and see where she is. I'm waiting to see if we can hear them again. I just heard pigs squeal. Not real hard to figure out. There's the babies. They just got up and run off. But it's not going to be hard to figure out that all those mamas are probably laying down with Penelope Farrowing. So I'm pretty sure we're going to find babies back here. There's where they just took off from. They were all laying up under there. That's a big pig nest slash baby bed. And they all went back that way, so I've got a feeling that's where Mama is. And she's probably laying down with Penelope. Well, rounded the corner, and there she is. There's Penelope with a fresh batch of babies. She made her nest right against the fence. Looks like she probably farrowed late yesterday, maybe early this morning, but they look pretty lively. Let's go check on them. So I already told them the big pigs didn't come up. Yeah. And I went and found Penelope, but I know that baby pigs are kind of your thing, so they haven't gotten a really close look at them yet. Babies? Yeah. I backed out and waited on you. Penelope farrowed either late yesterday evening, early this morning, because her backside's still wet. Oh. Woo. I told you we were getting close. Well, they're up and moving around, and I know we haven't really talked about Penelope expecting. And I told them that, but she's not expecting anymore. No, she is not. Okay, you have to show me. All right, let's go. Don't be so jumpy. I've already tore down all the spider webs. I ran into a, a vine a second ago about jumped out my skin. See them? They're right around the curve. She built her nest against the single strand. Oh my God. So she's got it choked down. Oh. No one inside the fence. There's no, her nest is on it. She pushed her nest up on the fence. Pour the corn on inside the fence a little bit so we can try to clear that a little. We don't need to clear it much, but we need to get it off that wire. Uh, initial head count is 10. 10? Penelope usually averages about 8, but she usually has bigger piglets. Those are a little bit smaller than her normal litter. Now, so y'all can see what we're talking about. This is our single strand that we have the pigs in. And she built her nest right on top of it. She pulled up all this privet <laughs> and piled it up on the wire. But they are healthy and moving around good. Now y'all know that we're pretty transparent here. We don't just show the good side and the happy and, you know, it's just real farming. So don't think that everything goes perfectly every time. She did have three that were lost. Uh, don't know if they were stillborn or what. It looks like at least two of them were, were probably stillborn. But our pigs are raised in the woods look this is the way it is this is what she lives in we don't do farrowing huts 
We don't do that kind of thing. They are pasture and wood raised, and they are as hardy as they can be. Look, if you need to intervene, then we do that. But we try to let it go as naturally as it can, and sometimes you may have some that are stillborn. You may have some that the mama lays on. We haven't had that a lot. I think out of, gosh, what have we had, six, eight litters out here, Zoe? Yeah. I think we might have had two piglets that got laid on. We've got good mamas. They do a good job with their babies. Henry is extremely protective of the babies, which is kind of odd to a lot of people that talk about pig farming. Some older farmers will tell you, you cannot keep your boar with them. Well, we have tried to separate them on multiple occasions. And the girls actually break out to get back to Henry. So, Henry has not been a danger in any way to any babies that we've had out here. So, we found, you know, just let them go and let them be natural. So, that's what we do. And... We have a lot of healthy babies. We have a, a lot of healthy piglets that come through here, and we're satisfied with that. And that's the way we're going to keep doing it. So Ellie came down through here calling her babies, which y'all saw just a second ago run off out of their nest. And they're one of the little bitty ones from Penelope answered her and started going to her. But we went ahead and brought feed down here for Penelope. So we didn't have to move. There they come. There's the babies. I saw them. And Ellie is headed that way. She is calling them. I, I see the babies. I don't know if they can see them on camera. I just saw a little bit well, of movement I don't, through there. I don't see them, so they probably can't. She said, these are not mine. <laughs> Where did that little one go? Did it come back? There it is. Mama, it's moving. Oh, it's on, on the run. All right, go, go get that little one, and let's bring it back to Penelope. We've got to try to cut off this other little one. Ellie started calling her babies and took off running toward them, and this little one is going with her, and that's one of Penelope's. So Ellie's right there nursing her. She called them all in, and there's that little red and white baby. <laughs> Y'all... This, if you want to know about baby pigs, that little baby is only a few hours old. Come here, and you can see the difference in their size. And it just covered 75 to 100 yards at a dead run. Look at this. Come here. Come right here. Oh, goodness. Don't let them run over that baby. It's on the other side of her. There's all Ellie's babies. Where'd that little squirt go? There it is. Look at the difference. That's only a few weeks. Hey, Ellie. But that baby's gotta go back to Penelope. I know, I just don't want. Now everybody's mad because the baby's squealing. Penelope is gonna get it. All right, take it to Penelope. Penelope is way over there, and she is coming. Here come Penelope. Okay. She got her. Okay, That's all we got to do is get the baby back to Penelope. Okay. It's okay. Now, explain to everybody that... They're going to think that Penelope's going to hurt me. No. But she is still a pig. She's still going to be protective of her now babies. We are very no matter aware what. of that. You saw that I didn't try to keep the baby. She's well, going to be protective even though she does trust me. It's not. A... Well, if you had tried to keep the baby, you might have seen another side of Penelope. No, Ellie, Ellie has moved hers on. It's the same idea with any mama. I trust my friends with my kids, but if you mistreat them, we're going to fight. Because she's got her baby back now, but, well. No, the baby's following her. She's just 
ease it back to the rest of her litter. But now the baby's going back that way. Y'all, Penelope was way over there with her litter, and that little baby made it over here to dead run at just a few hours old. If she didn't trust me, she would not have just left the baby to follow. She would have definitely picked it up or take or got well, stayed with it. Well, she came over here to check it out because the baby was squealing. Yeah. And as long as the baby was crying listen. while you were holding it, she was upset. Come in, listen. It's on the move. We cut it under that tree branch. It's calling Penelope. Penelope's calling you. Make sure it gets back over there. There, and they're back together. We have got good mamas out here. That's a good job, Penelope. She said, now, Daddy, leave them alone. I'm not going to bother them, Penelope. I want to show them something. You're okay, Penelope. Pigs make a nest. She pulled this up by the roots. She sure did. To make her nest. Hey, babe. I'm going to leave that alone. I got a feeling we may have Mama step over it going down to the creek but it is what it is until she moves their nest we're gonna leave it alone it's okay she'll move their nest you don't come out now but you gotta stay with your baby good girl hey good girl. um good girl. hey why don't you get this post and pull it out some and it might alleviate some of that stress right here it's tight baby oh that fence is tight okay it's not going to stretch out that far. It might a little bit, but it's not going to be much. And no sweet babies. When she moves her nest naturally, we'll come clean the fence off. So the two solid red ones are girls. Three of the four black... Uh, I'm not getting your babies. No, she knocked it over and it squealed and she thought you had Three of the four red and white ones are boys, and then the one that ran off is a girl. I know we got one black girl. See her? She's clearing her nail. Yeah. She's sweeping. She's just lay down and nurse. And that's exactly how she built that nest, too. Probably if it's going to lay down and feed them. There she goes. Yep. Time to eat. She said, everybody get over here. I got to go into sleep. I was tired. All right, let's go. Okay. Hey, guys. It's Zoe here at Chestnut Hills Farmstead. And I don't get to say good morning, you guys, today because it is later in the afternoon and we are actually getting ready to go to baseball practice here shortly but i wanted to come out here and we're gonna go through and we're let's just check on the babies we have new babies so i thought it'd be good to do a baby update we'll check on the kitty cats when we get home we're gonna check on the duck we're just gonna go through and just enjoy the animals for a little bit hey rat you want to go check on the baby pigs well, you can't take that with us, so come on. Because it'll scare them. Okay. Come on. So you guys know Ellie had babies a few weeks back. Look at these things. Hello, Ellie. Oh, I see you, Gertrude. Look at Ellie. Look at all them babies. Hey, Ellie. Hello, Ellie. Hey, girl. You said, Mama, you got some treats? Hey, girls and boys. 
And there's our little red one. She had all black and white and one little red one. How about that? How about that? Gertrude, what you want? Hey. There's Farmer Rhett. No, you're a little bit wrong. So there's Gertrude, Ellie, and Penelope. No, that's Peggy. Penelope's laying with her babies. Gertrude has the big stripe. Penelope. Ellie's the black one. And... And Peggy has the white with her red. See? And then here's all the babies. So we just thought we were going to sneak around here, didn't we? But look, everybody's following us. And there's Henry. He burped. Oh my goodness. Hey, Henry. Hello, Henry, back there. Y'all, get out of the way. I'm trying to show them Henry. Would y'all get back? Oh, there comes all the babies. There they come. There they come. They all gonna go lay down in their spot. I just saw an airplane. Back there behind Daddy. What, Rhett? You think there's snakes in here? Yeah. Well, there's probably some somewhere. There. I can't hear you. Come here. They live in nature? Yeah. They sure do. So, as of this video, you guys don't know about Penelope's baby she had yesterday. So, here we are. We're going to check on. This would be day two year old day two <laughs> day two old babies so we're just going to do a check-in <sighs> they just follow me everywhere so let's do a quick check-in and see how things are going on day two quiet come on you saw deer prints hey melody Hey, girl. So it looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six right here. And there's two more on the other side of her. Little babies. So it looks like we did have two more pass. Well, that wasn't quite the update I wanted for them. Um, it happens. We don't love it, but it does happen. Um, when you've got pigs that weigh as much as they weigh, it's gonna happen. You're gonna have piglets get stepped on or squished or just failure to thrive, period. I mean, it's just that simple. They don't always all thrive. And so, as farmers, that's something we just have to deal with. But, we're gonna head up to the birds and let's go check on, I think they've named her Judy. So let's go check on Judy the duck. A beautiful day at the farm. It is so noisy at the birds. Let's see if I can talk over them. <laughs> it's like everybody has separated themselves into clusters. Got all our geese. There's just geese everywhere. 
So the white one that's in the middle. Well, it's the one on the left now. That's our newest one, and that's Judy. And then Snow White is the dirtier one. And the other two don't really have names right now. But you see the silkies are all dust bathing in the back. The little black chickens are everywhere. We got guineas just everywhere. And those two are looking awful majestic. Mr. Jason. He looks handsome. Look at Miss Brooks. Beautiful. Hey, Miss Brooks. Hello, chickens. With your bouffants. Hello, chickens. So somebody had asked me, how do you know the difference in the females and the male guineas? And I really guess I could Google it, but if you know, leave me a comment and tell me how you can tell the difference in the guineas because we have different colors, so it can't be based on their color. All right, it's time for us to go get ready for baseball. So I'm gonna let Daddy and Farmer Rick give you guys a kitty cat update when they get home. So you guys can see how they are doing as well. She's comfortable. Daddy, I gave her a kiss. Look, she's comfortable. She's comfortable. I need a name for this little girl. She's pretty. Mimi or Ginger? Now she is a lap baby. The other one, I don't even know if it's a boy or a girl. The other one will let you hold it, but don't come up to you wanting to be held. It wants you to pet it, but don't pick it up. But it will sit still if you do have it. This one, uh oh, she's wanting to crawl off now. And Mama is up under the edge of the house. Well, we got to we got to name all three of them. None of them have made it to the farm yet, except for the daddy cat. The babies and the mama are still here at our house, and they like to frequent inside, which I'm not a big fan of, but they do like to frequent inside. The mama likes to terrorize Millie, and the babies like our bed. So, so y'all give us some good ideas on names for these three. We're probably going to keep the babies here till they're a little bigger, and we're just letting mama hang out with them before they all go to the farm and probably move into the barn. Now the other one showed up. Here's the other kitty kitty. There's Mama Kitty. She needs a name, too. Thank you for watching Chestnut Hill Farmstead. I hope you like and subscribe and hit that hey button.